everyone welcome back to my channel we're in a different spot i'm just trying to use every spot of my flat while i can <laughs> um today i'm going to show you five ways to style cycling shorts now cycling shorts is something i never used to be a fan of i actually used to hate them i used to be one of those people that was like Ugh, why would you wear those out and typically i've been the same person that's now happily wearing them so I thought I would share with you five ways you can style them up in a kind of easy way and make them look cool. I'm not someone who would wear like cycling shorts with a little tight crop top and go out like that. Not really very me. So I wanted to share with you guys some ways I would wear them and how I have been wearing them so that if you've got a similar style to me or you're trying to incorporate them because you just want to be comfortable, hopefully this is of use. Um, so yeah let's jump into it because i'm excited to share these with you outfit number one is probably one of my favorite vibes because it's very 90s very like um kind of instagram pinterest vibes if you know what i mean um so i'm wearing this really cute nike jumper which i recently got i don't know if they still have it in stock but i will link it below if I can, um, it's so cute. It's got this like 90s vibe to it. Nike are selling a lot of like 90s vibe items at the moment and I am so here for it. So I love this and I've just tucked it into my bra to make it look a little bit shorter. The little trick I'm sure a lot of you have heard of, but basically it's just a really good way of making your body look more like a body. Sometimes if I wear like a baggy jumper with like something like cycling shorts, it just looks like, I just look like a lump. There's nothing giving me any shape so if you tuck the bottom of your top into your bra that way you've got a little bit of skin showing it shows your waist it just makes it a little bit more flattering so that is what i've done in this outfit i've also teamed it with my balenciagas to have a, add like a sporty luxe feel i'm not really like a sporty person so, so adding a sports luxe vibe just gives it a little bit more of a kind of wearable vibe if you know what i mean i've also added a little 90s bag and my scrunchie because if you're gonna go for the 90s vibe, you might as well go all out, right? Yeah. <laughs> this next outfit is definitely one for you fashion gals. I've teamed a little white top with a blazer, um, an outfit that I probably would wear anyway, apart from the cycling shorts, so like maybe change the cycling shorts for a pair of jeans or something. Um, so it's probably an outfit that a lot of people already would have. Um, and I have just, added my chloe to add a little bit of like a kind of expensive touch you don't need to add like a designer bag to add an expensive touch but um i just like the idea of just having quite a kind of neutral simple outfit and like just whacking a designer bag just to make it a little bit more chic and expensive if you know what I mean. So I really like this outfit and I also added my Converse because I was thinking about teaming this with my Balenciagas but I wanted to show you guys that like not every outfit needs a chunky trainer. You can wear like other trainers and Converse are a great trainer and well worth buying into. I'm going to be doing a styling video on Converse very soon so keep a lookout for that. Outfit number three is probably one that you've seen many people wear and it is the most casual of them all. Um, I love this outfit. I think it's so comfy and like cosy. This is how I would wear my, my cycling shorts like at home, how I'm wearing them at the moment. Just really casually with a hoodie or a baggy tee just to make them like comfortable. This is the type of outfit I would probably wear if I was like, I want to be comfortable but I want to go to the shops. This is what I would wear. This hoodie is from a brand called Olive and Frank and I love it. Olive and Frank sells some really lovely pieces and they're all kind of like graphic tees, hoodies and stuff like that. I will link them below. Um, they are a like small business so if you're looking to buy a nice hoodie or a nice t-shirt, I'd definitely check them out um and i love this hoodie it's one of my favorites and i think it will be for a while i just love the print on the back i will link it below so that you can go and purchase it yourself if you'd like to um but yeah i love this outfit super cash super comfy um definitely my type of vibe when it comes to cycling shorts if i was gonna wear an outfit with cycling shorts it'd probably be this one next up we have a very chic way of styling 
cycling shorts i've teamed this really cute um and other stories jumper which i've had for a while they still sell it it's really, really cute um with the cycling shorts i just think it gives a really nice chic touch to a cycling short you could switch out like the jersey cycling shorts for denim ones and give like the same vibe um i've also teamed it with some chunky boots from zara i love these and they're just a really kind of like combat kind of cool girl vibe and i really like that um and the snake skin bag just adds a little bit of like a printed touch it just makes it look a little bit more put together but i think this outfit is really really cool and if i have the confidence i'll wear it out but i don't know i find cycling shorts very hard to wear out because they're just not typically my style um but like i said you can definitely like mix them into your style you just have to find ways of making them like work for you and i think i've managed to make them work for me um but yeah i love this outfit and i think it's really cute and i think if you're going to go for cycling shorts it's good to wear items that make you feel comfortable or items that you feel like you would um wear anyway maybe you'd switch the the shorts for like a little black skirt or something so that you've already got the kind of same vibe that you would have worn for something else but you're just switching out the cycling shorts Am I making sense? I don't even know. <laughs> the final outfit is one that I think a lot of people would wear. Um, it's a baggy tee with a denim jacket and some Converse. I just think it's a very kind of easy, effortless kind of vibe. Um, this is probably my least favourite outfit. I'm not going to lie to you. I just think it's just not quite fully my vibe. But I wanted to share this outfit with you because I know that some people would just want to style their cycling shorts with a baggy tee and i think it's important to show that even though i ne won't necessarily wear this outfit out i would wear the baggy tee with the shorts but i'm not sure about the denim jacket um but i know denim jackets are a really good way of if you're wearing cycling shorts and you kind of want to cover your bum you don't really want to have your bum out this is a really good option because denim jackets are usually quite big so you can just like cover your bum and it's all good um same goes for the blazer i guess but um yeah i just think it's a really easy simple outfit it's not anything special but it's a way that i think a lot of people would style cycling shorts and i thought i would share it for anyone who's like oh my god i would definitely not wear that jumper with um those cycling shorts like it's all about baggy tees this is the outfit for you. <laughs> Maybe scrap the denim jacket if you're not a massive fan of the denim jacket, but yeah. <laughs> so those are all of my outfits. I hope you enjoyed this. I feel like this video has been a bit of a shambles. I don't know why, but I feel like it has. <laughs> so I apologize for that. Um, yeah, cycling shorts is something that I, I still not sure, I'm still not sure on them. I won't lie to you but they're great so yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll speak to you all soon